But like many companies, we're experiencing stiff competition with our new hires and having a hard time finding quality applicants to fill our open positions. So we conducted an internal review of our hiring practices and found ways we could work smarter to increase and improve our workforce. And that's when we participated in Maryland's apprenticeship initiative called Apprenticeship Maryland. Since 2015, Apprenticeship Maryland has been helping businesses throughout the state acquire new employees by steadily building a pipeline of talented and highly skilled workers. It turns out we were looking in many of the wrong places for the right people. Maryland high school juniors and seniors are seriously untapped pool of talent. The students in the youth apprenticeship program are ambitious, earnest, and actually excited to come to work every day. It's true. It could be easier than you realize to find employees who are a great fit for your company. Increasingly, more organizations are shifting away from degree requirements to focusing more on work experience. Youth apprenticeship provides opportunities for the students to start getting their work experience early. With students ready to learn directly from you what's holding your company back from taking advantage of apprenticeships to help build your workforce, there are no apprentices in my field. It's a ton of work. They're so expensive. We need college grads. Yes, myths about apprenticeships persist. So let's set the record straight right here, right now. You're interested, but... But the apprenticeship programs are for the construction trades. It's time to retire the old way of thinking and start reimagining apprenticeships because your future workforce depends on it. Whereas traditional apprenticeship programs are primarily focused on construction trades, modern apprenticeship programs like Maryland's programs are open to all types of businesses. Now nearly any company can reap the rewards of strong local talent, like me. But it's a lot of work to coordinate. It's essentially comparable to hiring and developing any other entry-level employee, and the state guides employers along the way. For example, the Department of Labor deploys navigators to help eligible employers obtain approval by the Maryland Apprenticeship and Training Council. As part of this process, a business must provide a qualified mentor, sign a youth apprenticeship agreement, and agree to pay the apprentice. Then, you interview and hire high school juniors or seniors who go on to complete at least 450 hours of work-based training who are supervised by your staff. The student also completes one year of related classroom instruction as part of the program. But apprenticeships cost a lot to implement. Unlike internships, apprenticeships are always paid programs where students earn to learn. However, even with compensation, companies actually experience reduced turnover costs, increased productivity, increased retention, and save on hiring costs. But we require college degrees for most of our positions, so we just can't do it. It's true. Some occupations have universal degree requirements, but others can shift based on a number of factors, including company, industry, and strength of the economy and labor market. As a result, hiring managers who can make the shift are focusing more on work experience. All in all, youth apprenticeships produce a positive return on your investment. It's a win-win, even for your bottom line. But Enough with the bus already. No more excuses. Stop procrastinating and start attracting top talent who want a head start in developing career skills. We're ready. Okay, let's do it.